Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today I am gonna give you the review for Chroma ROM for Nexus 5. Chroma ROM is based on AOSP. So let's check it out. Now installing Chroma ROM is pretty simple. Just go to this XDA page. I will post the link for this page in my description and download three files that is ROM file, GApp files and SuperSU file and flash all three files into recovery and you can enjoy the Chroma ROM. It's pretty simple and easy. Chroma ROM is based on Android version 5.1 revised 3 that is R3. I am running the latest build of Chroma that is 4th of April build and the build number is LMY47i. So this ROM provides you the latest build of Android for our Nexus 5. Let's check out the benchmark scores for this ROM. Now these benchmark scores are taken with three different kernels. The first one is the stock kernel, that is the Franco kernel. Second one is the elementalized kernel and third one is the code blue kernel. So as you can see Chroma ROM with a code blue kernel has a higher score as compared to other two kernel. Talking about battery performance of this ROM, I have tested the battery performance of this ROM with three different kernels. The first image is for stock kernel, that is Franco kernel. The second image is for Elemental X kernel. I accidentally lost the screenshots for the code blue kernel. But in my opinion, all the three kernels have same battery life. The battery will last you along 12 to 15 hours with the SOT of 3 hour 15 minutes to 3 hour 30 minutes on average. I would like to give a slight edge to a code blue kernel as it has slightly more screen on time as compared to other two kernels. So you can choose any one of them as per your choice. Now let's see the customization provided by the Chroma ROM. Now under settings menu, you will find a separate tab called Chroma where you can find all the customization of Chroma ROM. Here the first option is App Oops, where you can manage the permissions for the apps. Then the next option is Status Bar. Here you can change the battery icons, that is to circle, icon portrait, icon landscape, text or hidden. You can also enable the battery percentage that is inside the icon, next to icon or you can keep it hidden. Then you can customize the clock and date, means you can change the alignment of clock, then you can enable the AMP indicator, then you can enable the date. You can also change the color of a clock. Then next option is brightness control. You can enable the brightness control over status bar, means you can adjust your brightness just by swiping finger across the status bar. Then next option is double tap to sleep. By using this option, you can lock your device just by double tapping on status bar. Then you can enable the count for your notification. Then you can enable the quick pull down of quick setting from right or left edge of status bar. Then you can also enable the network traffic monitor on your status bar. Then there is an option to enable the weather in status bar. Then there is an option to customize the tiles in quick setting menu. Here you can customize the position of a tiles and you can also add or remove any tile if you want. You can enlarge or dislodge the first row if you want. Then you can enable the four tiles per row. Then you can enable or disable the brightness slider in quick setting menu. Then you can also enable the advanced location option for your location toggle. The next customization is navigation bar. Here you can customize the layout for your navigation bar. Then you can change the height of a navigation bar. You can also tint your navigation bar to different color. Then you can enable the arrow keys on navigation bar while typing. Then you can enable the double tap to sleep feature means by double tapping on navigation bar, you can lock your phone. Then you can customize the navigation ring targets from here. 
then you can enable the clear all button in recents menu and you can also choose the position for the button then next customization option is power menu here you can customize the power menu as per your requirement and the next customization option is volume rocker here you can enable the volume rocker wake function and you can also enable the different function for your volume keys now you can also find more customization under the display tab here you can enable the ambient display feature and you can customize the values for ambient display then you can customize the lcd density then there is a feature called expanded desktop by using this feature you can enable full screen mode for all your apps or you can choose any specific app to run in full screen mode or you can choose any or you can choose any other or you can choose any app to run in a full screen mode then you can enable or disable the wake up on charge feature from here so this rom has r or layer supports so you can customize your rom by applying different layers it's a cool way of customization you can check out my channel for video on layers the performance of chroma rom is excellent the developer has implemented some art optimization for every app so the rom has become snappier i have played some high end games like modern combat 5 and asphalt 8 and they run pretty smooth on this rom also the multitasking on this rom is pretty smooth there is no lag while switching between the apps so winding up the review i will only say chroma rom is snappy and smooth if you want to have a aosp rom with less amount of bloatware moderate amount of customization good battery life and having layer support for theming then just go for chroma rom i will post the link for this rom in my description if you like this video please hit the like button below and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more such video you can follow me on google plus facebook thank you for watching my video i will see you in my next video